Hi guys, I am on Maybox and I've um, installed the surfing icons and the satellite icons. Those are already here. I do see that I don't like the, the green at the top, but um, okay. <laughs> it's just a few clicks away, right? There are lots of things you can do in here. There are lots of things you can do in there. And there's lots of things you can do inside the Maybox config. Look at that. The look and feel, if you don't like what you see, change it, right? Change it. So all the possibilities apply. It's better to have a look at this like that. For instance, let's su super F again. It's still not the window border. The window border is green. That's the one I do not like. So this one, for example, voila. Better to look at. The thing is, I'm here now for something different. So do have a look at all the possibilities. It's open box, but what if, right? Yay, Arch Linux tweak tool. What if I want to install the tweak tool? For instance, super T update. Is that not working? A ball is not working. Those are aliases. All right, let's launch ATT. And this is our look, of course. We have a theme and the theme is applied. It's gonna be great. I thought, let's quickly change the wallpaper as I don't like it particularly, it's a bit too dark. What's this? And that's the fun, right? With all these right mouse clicks, done. Up, oh, we're back in desktop one, desktop two. Okay, cool. So, one of the things I check first, super F, is what's inside the Bash RC. This is the default eh, Bash RC from Maybox. And there might be interesting things in here that I say, oh, I want to have that too, or something like that. So interactive here, or confirm before overwriting something and so on. Information, we have this extract thing as well. Very handy. Here's some scripts for all kinds of things. So for me, don't see anything interesting, but there is a backup, right? It's here. What I can do is in say, go to the shells the bash installation and everything is already installed i can say go change it the bash rc and we've got our update and maybe we start with screen fetch or neo fetch or anything like that super t is gonna launch now like this so we're in maybox we can have a look at all the technical uh, details like matcha c and stuff like that so because of the Bash RC being changed, I can actually go for Ctrl T update and I'll get it. As you see, Maybox is the first one in here. While well, the rest, well, we don't know yet, but let's have a look. Where is the rest coming from? This is basically an Arch Linux system. Yes, it's Manjaro, it's not the same, but basically, it's coming from a mirror list and the mirror list is coming from manjaro.org manjaro manjaro so that's clear no discussion we're on manjaro now this arch Linux tweak tool can be fun in so many ways right you can install all kinds of icons the surfing icons i've got could have done them like this as well but they're already installed but this is an installation in user share icons and the other one was a local one. That's the difference. There are some themes that we can install, extras that we can install. How to start, it has a lot. It really has a lot. Right, at this particular moment in time, I say keep off, except maybe the conkeys. The conkeys I can read code and see what the keyboard kind of shortcuts are in design we can do all kinds of things these are third party 
these are ATT, Arch Linux 3 tool elements, icons here, cursors and fonts. I can install all the fonts. Desktop. That's fun. This is one of the selling points of the Arch Linux 3 tool. So six or maybe seven or is it already eight years ago? I was a developer of Arch Labs as well, creating the ISOs. And then we combined Openbox with i3. Combining that might be something that you say, oh, not a bad idea. We're going to have Openbox that you get, that you understand, and gradually ease into i3, into a tiling window manager, because there are lots of tiling window managers. Awesome. BSPWM, CHDWM. See, uh, not that one. <laughs> TK is a new one. Dusk, DWM, right? I mean, the list goes on and on and on. Why not learn that? But it's not possible. Eh? So it's not clickable. Make sure the Arclix repos are active. Mm. We need to install the keys and the mirrors. So inside this particular package, it has two files and it says, okay, go and install it. Pacman minus U. Eh? We restart ATT gonna go over the system again it's gonna check what do we have and yes we have all the possibilities and the testing maybe is better to keep it off and then you can say fine well basically super t do that first update and have a look you have all these extras let's make this bigger right we're going, going to get the latest, newest Arch Linux 3 tool 23.12.02. The Celtic hearing comes in because we have repos. There are lots of thousands of packages on the Celtic uh, repository and on the Endeavor OS and the Reborn and all of that, right, is available. Basically, it's, it's shops, so you get a lot of shops in. And say, so, okay, let's go grab all this. And we can install kernels like 100 kernels or something like that coming from chaotic to say one thing all right now awesome is here i3 is there install is there and let's have a look is going to try to install a bunch of software that we need and is going to say up here i3 has been installed so basically my worry of my my well i want to know is it working right so log out and you're in here and we have this choice down there i3 not that one i3 and off we go right we don't want to see this we do exactly the same thing users who don't know the key bindings are stuck right so super shift d super shift d is that one i want to install firefox super q gone Control t extra super enter this one Control shift enter that one and super q super shift q super shift q super x and we're out again log the l log out so it is here to help you at some point in time you get bored with it and you say super c and you say i don't need a conkey all right you kill it now that's great we have and we're still on the same maybox linux but there are choices and xd is one of the things we can click and we have i3 i3 open box open box what if you start to get interested and they say, that's great. These styling winner managers, they're not that bad. I get to know them. It's a little bit time consuming in the beginning and uh, learning all these key bindings. Let's try awesome. Awesome has been installed. Quit. Super X log out. Awesome. And there we are. So super T, super T, super T, super T, super Q, super Q, 
super D is doing nothing. <laughs> it's not there. But super shift D works. There's alt F2, F3, if you don't like legs. Um, so key bindings, they're there. You decide uh, whether you want to install more stuff or less stuff. Super X, we log out again. And let's go back to Maybox official open box. Maybe you don't want to see this. Right mouse click, another wallpaper, please. Where was it? <laughs> Screen illusion here, wallpaper. Random wallpaper. Nah, much better. Here's another button, quick click. So they've put a lot of time and energy in making it so accessible for users. So why not try, it, right? Why not go for Mailbox? Control T, ATT. What else can we try? So we've done that. This is just installing things. Get ProPlink, um, fix the keys if there are problems with keys. We have now three parallel. I'm gonna go for apply, 20 parallel. Let's have a look. And Pacman, and Pacman is now parallel downloads 20, right? For me, living in Belgium, having paying the highest internet connection that I can have, 20 is good, okay? So that one is good, bye. So 20 was that, choose your cursor globally in the user share icons default. We can actually say, I wanna have this when I'm logging out. So when you log out, you'll have this particular one. In Grub, there is nothing to do here. In Login, we have Lightium active. SDM is not available. We've left it out on Manjaro distributions. Mirrors, that's all good. We can set the mirrors. Maybe it's interesting to know what did you install, right? You've set your Maybox the way you like, remove all kinds of things, installed all kinds of things, and then you say, okay, let's make a nice summary of what I have. So we've got here a file. This is basically what's on this system. And if you later on do a clean install again, and you want to install that particular list of packages, all you need to do is put this guy in your home directory. It's gonna look, is that there? And basically it's just gonna install it, yes. Do you install all that? Of course, he's gonna skip, 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 because it's already there, right? Pacman, privacy things. So we can install the uBlock origin, which is an extra Firefox extension. Just a pseudo pacman minus s somewhere in here. Okay. And hblock is something also that's interesting, also an, uh, an application to provide that um, all the rubbish from the internet is basically not seen by you. You have a long list in the etc hosts file that says 0000. zero, 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 zero. Basically, don't go there. So hosts, this one, has a lot of nasty stuff. You see in the naming already what nasty stuff it all can be. Astrology test I see here. But also, you know, the SEX things and the PORNO things, all that. So it is really, really a long list of rubbish that you don't see anymore. There are services we can activate or not. Normally everything is okay, but there is some things you can, you, can, you may want, right? Bluetooth, network, printing, and Samba. The shells, we've covered that, and we stick to patch, but there's also ZSH, fish, and extras. The extras are interesting because 
our bash the arch Linux 3 tool bash right has applications in its aliases so if you don't have that it's not gonna work up all paru command not found all right paru command not found of course so click these packages get installed in here all right anything that we want is installed and there we go up all is also taking a look at all the AOR stuff and if there is something to be updated uh, it's millimeter work right it's easier up the top I've noticed of, uh, you know just make it bigger some thermal terminal design alacrity themes and so on XFCE themes and yes we thought termite was that but it seems to be around and I don't know if it still is so let's have a look it is right you can still have it but this is coming from us so let's see yay termite it is still there on the AOR although development has halted so it still works okay terminal fun is fun <laughs> so you already saw the new fetch um, let's do a fetch control T always fun to have something different for a while and then you get bored with it as well and maybe you just go back to this one control T and say okay whatever black screen that's all I need themers if you have i3 you can go and theme it there are different looks for i3 and you can also say I want to have a polybar so by default it has the bar the standard bar of i3 but why not have a polybar and then have all these modules you can play around with same thing for awesome if you've installed it you can quickly change to Copland say apply theme if you go to awesome now you'll see it is changed same thing here just click something as an apply theme to hold the polybar it's now has a polybar left WM you can't set it you did not install it cute how you can't set it you did not install it and this is there sometimes we need to create the user and I think the only, the only one that has it by default is plasma sometimes right we are on something else and there is a lot to be on I mean they don't have this all these silent winners don't have how to create an, an, a user so there you go now this thing I must say does not it will not always work in the sense that the back end is Pacman and if Pacman says there is a conflict between package A and package B it holds as simple as that it holds so then you need to investigate what do I have what package might be blocking things so this here is a long list to have left WM and the question is if it blocks right log out why and it's Pacman rules left WM certainly also one to have to investigate again here all the key bindings so have a look super C we kill the conky and then super enter and then oh PyCam is not there Ctrl Alt T right super shift enter super Q super shift Q super shift Q and then super D super shift D so yes there is uh, a lot of key bindings to learn a lot of things to to test but it's fun it's fun and again this time we shut down that means that we can add Maybox as a supported uh, distribution for the Arch Linux 3 tool and that's fun enjoy Maybox and remember if you can donate cheers